Hi friends and welcome back to Fantasy at Wash. Today I'm going to be talking about my reading roundup for the month of April. Let's jump in. April started off really slow for me. I don't know where other people live, obviously, but I had the world's worst sinus infection because allergy season was wild and out of control. So it took me a really long time in April to finish a book. But the first book I finished was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was a fun book. I enjoyed this. It's definitely satirical and it's sci-fi, which for me is a bit of a deviation because I typically read fantasy, but I liked this book. It was the first book that I have read by Douglas Adams. I understand that it is the first book of the Hitchhiker series as a whole. All in all, I liked this book. I gave it a three out of five stars. Our protagonist, Arthur, whose house is about to be bulldozed, and his friend comes to let him know that it doesn't matter because the world is gonna end in six minutes anyway, so let's go to the pub and get a few pints because we need a few pints before the world ends. They manage to hitch a ride on a spaceship and thus their journey begins throughout the universe. The Hitchhiker's Guide itself is, compo is composed by different aliens that can put information about the universe. The information about Earth is highly entertaining. In this book, we also come to learn the answer to what is the meaning of everything in the universe. And I don't want to spoil that for you because it's a really monumental moment and the answer will shock you and bring you probably much, much joy. So all in all, I enjoyed Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I don't know necessarily if I will continue on with that series. It's not a top priority for me right now, but maybe when I'm in the mood for something shorter and lighter, I will lean back into it. The next book I read this month was one that I loved so much, and that was Trust of the Emerald Sea. This was secret project number one for Brandon Sanderson. I wasn't a Kickstarter backer, but I did order my own copy of it because I loved how beautiful it looked. I did not regret this whatsoever. The book itself is absolutely beautiful. I loved holding this book. It felt so nice in my hands. The story was a beautiful retelling of The Princess Bride where the female protagonist gets to determine what her fate and destiny is. And it was one that came from the perspective of Hoyd, who is a Cosmere character. It was so comedic. It was so touching at different moments. It was a story that I feel is universal. Everyone could get something out of this story and have it feel like it is applicable to their life in some way, shape, or form that I just was left feeling so happy when I finished reading it. That is such a nice feeling to have when you finish a book. It's also a story that is a standalone, which is really great. If you are not wanting to jump into the Cosmere as a whole, you definitely can read this book independent of having known anything else in the Cosmere, but there are a lot of fun things that you can pick up if you have read other Cosmere books. The story has animal familiars, it has pirates, it has voyages with fluidization. It's got a lot of really neat stuff and all in all, I super, super enjoyed it. Gave it five out of five stars. I just could not have said enough good things about this book. I then went a completely different way with my next book and read a grim dark book, which was The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, which is the first book of the First Law Trilogy. This book takes place primarily in the capital of this world, which is a city called Adua, and we have different character POVs. My favorites being Glockta and Jazal, I believe, were probably my two favorites, but we have other perspectives in this book too. In this world, magic, once again, is not really at the forefront of the story, but is still present and enjoyable. The characters in this book are deplorable, but you are so lucky in. Abercrombie does such a good job at making you invested in these characters and genuinely concerned as to what happens to them, even though for the most part they're terrible and vile people. But he does this all in a way that it is so comedic and so funny that I think that's how he gets away with his characters being these very morally great characters. And in many ways you sit back and you think, how on earth am I possibly caring what happens to this person who's a torturer but then at the same time when you learn more about their backstory and then the comedic elements you go oh that's why because it's so so good it's so entertaining it pulls you in i cannot wait to read book two and book three of this trilogy because this book 
was a top five book for me for quarter one. I loved it. I gave it five out of five stars. The only thing I really didn't love about this book is that I found the female characters fell a bit flat. They were a bit one dimensional, but I'm hoping that that will change in the following two books. But all in all, I loved this. It was a great book. Highly, highly enjoyed it. The fourth book I read this month was Going Postal by Terry Pratchett. It was my first Discworld novel and I gotta say I really enjoyed it. It was satirical fantasy at its finest. Terry Pratchett is a master at making us look at our everyday life, everyday life things from a new lens and a new perspective in a way that we definitely wouldn't have thought of before and having and offering so much social commentary on them that you sit back and you go, I never would have thought that the post office and mail was this fascinating and this interesting, but alas, it is. Our character and our protagonist in this book is a man named Moise von Litvig, and he is a con man that has been assigned to take over the post office that has been abandoned for about a hundred years. There is magic in this story, there's comedy, there's wit, there are characters that you come to care about. It's just a really solid round st roundabout story that if this is what all of Discworld is, we should all be reading Discworld regularly. I'm hoping to read a Discworld novel every month or every two months until I read all 41 of them. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. If you've ever read Good Omens and you liked that, then you'll love Discworld. And or if you've watched Good Omens and you liked it, you'll love Discworld. You should give Terry Pratchett a go. He was a brilliant author and a brilliant man. The last book I read in the month of April was A Wizard's Guide to Defense Baking by T. Kingfisher. This book kind of fell into the YA middle grade fantasy-ish subgenres, but at the same time has language in it that felt like it was meant for an adult audience. So it's kind of like a Pixar movie in that there's things for kids and things for adults that are sprinkled in throughout the story. With it, this book, our main character is a girl named Mona. She is a baker and she's also a wizard. Her magic in this story is that she is able to imbue magic into baked goods like bread and gingerbread men. She has a magical starter, do starter named Bob who's like manic and really funny. There is a murder that takes place in her in her bakery. It becomes kind of a whodunit and a battle and a story, a coming of age story. And there's a lot of different things going on in this book. I don't necessarily know if it knows what it is or what it wants to be. It's a good story. It's a fun and enjoyable story, but it was my lowest rated book of the month. I gave it a three. For Hitchhiker's Guide, I think I gave it a three and a half. So these were probably my two weaker books and they were the one that I started and ended the month with, which was kind of a bummer. But all in all, I had a really great reading month. I liked all of the books that I read. There wasn't a, one of them that I thought, well, I'm really bummed that I actually wasted my time reading this. Highly enjoyable reads all around. So that was really great. And I had a good time. You can let me know in the comments below what you read during the month of April. Have you read any of the books that I read? What did you think about them when you read them? Is there anything based on my reviews that you think I should read that I would really like? If you would like to help support me, you can hit like and subscribe. And if you would like to come find me on Instagram where we can talk in more detail about books, you can find me at Fantasy Awash. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.